Sure, sure. Yeah. Good morning. Today we have Mr. Ramanujan and Mr. Rama Sen with us. They are going to, today we are on week six, the spirituality week, and our day 34. And let's start with Ramanujan sir for uh, his wonderful presentation. Welcome, Ramanujan sir. Yes. Good morning, everyone. Happy morning. Uh, today, uh, continuation of the spiritual week. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate, you know, certain uh, products, you know, how we are spiritually going to be immersed in the areas. We will just have some uh, testing. Can you just share the screen so that... Uh, Okay, I am going to discuss with you about uh, three products. These three products, you have to select where you are and who you are. And it is a very nice uh, experiment and demonstration. Carrot, normally, you know, it is very hard in nature when it is grown and when you want to bite it. It undergoes treatment which we will see now, egg, when the hen is laying egg inside, it is very soft. Okay. And the third one is coffee bean. Okay. How the coffee bean is being demonstrated. We can go to the next screen. You can just. It is very, very interesting. You know, you take, you know, three cups, boil water, and put these three pots of you know, water over the fire and uh, you can st start adding one by one. Okay, you just take an experiment now. Next screen, Naina. Actually, if I control, it would be better, but uh, okay. Now the, no, just one by one, please. The first one, the first one, three pots we have taken water and over the fire. The next one is first we take the carrot. Next, first we take the pot and put some carrots in it. Okay, carrot is getting boiled slowly. The hard carrot becomes softened. Okay. Many of the people, you know, we will feel that, you know, people are very hard. During the process, they will become so soft. This is one example of that. The second one, second part, we take the egg, we put it, and slowly, you know, it will get solidified and it becomes hard. You can remove the shell and then you can bite the egg, bite and eat, okay? It becomes very hard. The soft material becomes very hard once if it undergoes a process. The third part, which is very interesting part, and today we are discussing about the spirituality part. You can just think, take coffee beans and that have been grounded and then make it into powder and put that powder into the hot boiled water and slowly you can observe what happens. You can feel it, feel the surroundings and feel yourself. You can go to the next, the same thing, boil for three pots for 15 minutes, take out what you put in you can see the difference. The carrots went in hard, it becomes soft. The egg went in soft inside, it becomes very hard inside. The coffee powder has totally disappeared in this case, but the water has changed its color 
to a coffee powder color and a wonderful aroma is coming out it is just you know the entire room or the ambience you can feel the coffee smell the fragrant aroma now you think of about life life is not always easy life is not always comfortable sometimes life is hard okay go to the next slide when the life becomes hard things don't happen like we wish it doesn't happen then people don't treat us also like we hope what we think it doesn't take here we work very hard but get few results this is natural what happens when we face difficulties when you face difficulties in life we can go to the next screen now think about these three parts boiling water is like a problem of our life then problem of our life now you just imagine hard carrot we think that we are very tough and strong when we are because we are like a hard carrot when you come out you will become soft and weak you see some students get into a college and they will after learning they will become soft and of course no when they become soft and they become weak in the society you seeing the competition the difficulties we can go to the next experiment in our life comparison here we get tired we lost hope and sometimes we give up there is no more fighting spirit because the hard carrot becomes soft therefore we do not want to be hard become soft we don't want to be carrot type this is what the experiment explains then the similar experiment we saw liquid oh, egg liquid because we are ourselves normally some people are very soft and very sensitive to the heart because this also what happens when i undergo a treatment you end up very hard why i should be like this i want to be hard in the society i should you know feel unfeeling inside okay this is what it happens when the egg becomes a solid after the processing is over because we want to overcome this okay we can next slide please because we will be always fighting with others we don't like ourselves and we become hard hearted okay because the soft heart become hard hearted we want to fight and there is no warm feeling only the bitterness changing from a soft to hard also is not going to help us therefore now we move on to the next type where we are in the week of spirituality okay here the water does not change the coffee powder here the coffee powder changes the water that is where we need to understand we need to change ourselves okay then we can go to the next slide how the coffee aroma because the coffee powder changes nature the color smell and making aroma around us it is only possible with only coffee beans now hotter the water better the taste we all know that if it is coffee getting cold we don't like to drink this is very very natural process we have to just compare okay we can go to the next slide 
we can be like a coffee beans we can make something good from the difficulties we face you see the coffee powder grounded become powder the shape is changed from beans to powder and from the powder it changes its color we learn new things every day now you see what we have learned is a very simple but it is very powerful message we can derive from it we can go to the next slide okay we have what we have learned is new knowledge about a product new skills we gained and the new abilities we have developed with this we have to grow in our experience and we have to start transforming ourselves how these new skills and new abilities comes next slide please you see once if you acquired new skills and new abilities and new knowledge we make the world around us better and better like a coffee bean we have to just think okay then we can go to the next slide that to succeed we must always try and try again we must believe in what we are doing we must not give up anything once we are committed to take up whether it is a goal or vision board or vision anything we should not but at the same time we must have a patient we must be like a patient we have to wait okay and we must keep pushing okay all difficulties and problems whatever we have to handle it it is where we are here the spirituality definitely bring in as oneness it is not religion it is oneness we start realizing ourselves from the current level to the next level this is what always you know keeps you going keeps you pushing you from the current level to the higher level higher level this is what i wanted to share then you know therefore problems and difficulties give us the chance to become stronger and better and tougher this is what the affirmations we always you know read every day and we feel the happiness and we prepare ourselves to fly high fly high we want to reach out of the boundaries okay we want to go and capture conquer the world this is always a message we always see what are we like in three things do not go well i do not want to be a carrot type we of course we do not want to be a egg type but at the same time i want to change myself i want to be like a coffee bean i think everybody likes coffee bean and okay Yes. Thank you. We, Rama, we Rama like Nijan, sir. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But you, it was well said. We problems are uh, like a boiling water or a furnace that make us hard, soft, or anything. <laughs> As per. So, thank you. It was a wonderful sharing for us. Uh, Nai, uh, Naina, can we uh, have feed feedback or question? Question after section right now for Rama Nijan. Yeah. we uh, can also have one more session we have time one more session whether we can have question and answer and one more session or after the session we can have uh, naina you can make me co host i will share my screen okay. so would you like to take the questions uh, question and answer uh, we will we will discuss after your session we will yeah, uh, jointly sure. address right. i think okay. after the session goes on thank you okay. so, so completely it, completely different session but anyway we will uh, address both yeah okay so welcome rama right. rama sir yeah thank you so today we are going to look at another uh, uh, session um, this is about logic 
right? How this logic is structured. We are talking about the way it is structured is binary logic to realistic logic. So as you know, as all of you already know, what is logic? Logic is a process of making a conclusion and it's a tool we use for logical arg argument. So there are set of propositions or statements. So the statement can be either true or false. So there are set of premises or the set of statements which are used to build an argument. So then we come out with uh, inference or conclusion. So there are set of statements which are true or false and uh, using the logic, we arrive at a conclusion. That is a typical logic. So the all, all over the world, the logic which is used is the binary logic. So the logic is used in many places, mathematics, science, computer science, justice, on also the daily life. <clears throat> They're all used to this dual logic, you know, which is yes or no on or off, one or zero, white or black. So this is simple logic, very static. So there are many operations possible on the simple logic, negation and or implication, NAND, NOR and truth table. There is a truth table uh, of uh, binary logic, which you might have been known. So what is the effectiveness of this logic? See, this logic is simple if it is very uh, limited enrollment and scientific enrollment and lab enrollment, this logic works. Of course, no, that you are, all your computers operate on this logic, zero and one. Uh, for example, this statement is false, right? So if this statement is false, then it is true. But if it is true, then it is false. So your binary logic will not help resolving this particular statement. Also, the binary logic will not help in solving the real life problems as such, solving various puzzles, and for example, solving the Sherlock Holmes mysteries. So these are all not possible just using the binary logic alone. So there is a realistic J logic, okay? So here it is very interesting. It is not just true and false. So there are seven different possibilities. One is true, which is called perhaps this is true. Second is perhaps it is not true or false. The third value is perhaps X is as well as is not. It is true and false together at the same time. So this is the realistic situation in real life. There are some things, in, in fact, even in quantum mechanics, there are certain things true and false at the same time till you uh, decide to take an action. Then you know the changes, the, the value changes from you know, to true or false. The fourth value is indeterminate or indescribable. So that is the fourth value. So you don't know what is the real value, whether it is true or false, you don't know it is indeterminate. The fifth value is, it is true as well as indeterminate. So that is the fifth value. It can be true as well as indeterminate. Sixth value is, it is false and indeterminate. The seventh value is, it is simultaneously true, false and indeterminate. So this is how the real life is. There are certain things you cannot just conclude that it is true or false, it can be at the same time, true, false, as well as, no, it is undecided or indeterminate. So these are the seven values in this particular realistic J logic. So this is more appropriate for life. And this is the logic more appropriate for our spiritual life as well. So don't conclude that certain thing is just by looking at certain view, don't conclude it is this way or that way. It can be anything. So you have to give sufficient time, look at different perspectives before you decide what it is. So this logic helps us to do that. So this seven value J logic is very realistic and it is dynamic. It handles the complexities. So as we saw the seven values of the logic, the seven value J logic is true, false, true and false, 
maybe or in, indeterminate true and maybe false and maybe true false and maybe so this is more realistic logic to use instead of just binary logic of saying true or false so there are seven different values true false true and false maybe true and maybe false and maybe true false and maybe these are the seven values it is also probability you can assign a probability for the seven values false being zero and true being 100% in between there are various states you uh, know various stages so false and indeterminate is 1/6 of the total value true and false is 2/6 indeterminate is in the middle 3/6 true false and indeterminate is 4 6 true and indeterminate 5 6 so this is the probability value of various uh, values of this particular logic false to true there is shades of gray in between it is not just white and black there is a shades of gray in, in between that is the real life that is how the universe is organized it is never been just true and false so there is various probabilities in between so the binary logic which is true and false is closed and limited in approach whereas the seven valued j realistic logic is open and broader uh, the binary logic draws quick conclusions but need not be accurate the seven valued logic is <clears throat> has scope for broader and better application its binary logic is binary assumptions whereas the realistic logic is range of open states possible the binary logic gives you limited thinking whereas the realistic j logic gives you open and unlimited thinking uh, the binary logic is mechanical you can automate it that is why the computers work based on this binary logic whereas the seven valued realistic logic is human flexible and stable Uh, you no know, use for real life experiences so in binary logic you can get into stress mode whereas the realistic j logic uh, uses compassion it doesn't just conclude it really looks at various possibilities uh, binary logic is useful for science and computers the realistic logic is for human life the binary logic puts everything in a box whereas the realistic logic is has moving towards positive psychology and human behavior uh, the binary logic is always doubtful and questioning whereas the realistic logic is healthy has a healthy approach and healthy mindset so we should all be aware of this seven valued realistic j logic and use that in life day to day life in fact there are many types of logic one is the binary logic which everybody knows which is true and false there is the three valued logic which is used in quantum mechanics true false and unknown and then there are finite valued logics which can have multiple values including the uh, the seven valued realistic logic we looked at it and there are infinite valued logic as well so fuzzy logic and probabilistic logic they are all infinite value and the one we looked at realistic seven valued logic is most appropriate for the day to day life and the human uh, life so let's use that one okay so with this let me conclude uh, this session so the realistic seven valued logic is true false true and indeterminate false and indeterminate indeterminate itself and then true false and indeterminate so these are the seven values which we are seeing so you will be wondering what is this logic how okay the question to you so this logic uh, any idea how old this logic was and who would have come out with this can you guess it any guesses on uh, when this logic would have been arrived at and who arrived at
some chat showing that uh, ancient india ved period i i am thinking about that uh, our ramanujan sir no <laughs> mathematician ramanujan sir in okay. that period i am i my opinion that that's uh, no it's a very latest initial 20th century initial period right so no it's much older it's no, much older than ancient vedic period as well so this is the logic by jaina jainism it is from jainism okay. jainism is much much older much older than um, yeah okay, more than i don't know how many years it's that really that year practicing yeah yeah from the past yeah really Wait. it's much before vedic thank period thank you raman yeah yeah mm awesome and thank you rama sir and thank you so much that was a, that was a wonderful presentation so this is Thanks. the time for yeah, feedback open, and yeah open to questions open open comments. yeah questions are yeah. invited come one by one yeah jagadish ji deepa so it was nice uh, presentations from both uh, ramanujam sir and rama sir so it was nice analogy from ramanujam sir uh, so we have to be like a coffee bean and we have to mingle with uh, everybody in the universe and we have to have the we have to spread aroma around the around us so coming to j logic uh, i want to know more particularly about j logic and applications from rama sir and ramanujam sir so can can we have some applications uh, on j logic yeah sure in fact the application is the real life the you no know, instead of using your binary logic concluding this is what you no know, it is true or false you please use this seven value logic you no know, don't conclude first of all you no know, if certain situation is there certain things are there don't assume in life saying that it is uh, you no know, uh, true or false immediately so give sufficient time <clears throat> Uh, get get different points of view <clears throat> collect more data before concluding so keep that in uh, maybe status or keep that in a uh, no true false and maybe status together so it is it is absolutely required for day to day living <clears throat> every day living more effectively right that is one second this is also being used for you uh, know um, uh, analyzing the complex situations like for example the sherlock holmes stories the mysteries uh if you use just the binary logic you cannot arrive at the conclusions uh whereas if you use the seven value logic uh there is a good possibility of uh, arriving at uh, the solution and also it can be used for uh, real life uh, uh situations uh through artificial intelligence also thank you sir thank you very much thank you thank you the vg is asking that design of experiment which logic sir uh, uh so ravi sir can you just expand on that i i didn't get the full context d o e design of yeah design of experiments okay if you want a more realistic design of experiments we yeah, should yeah. use the, the the logic this uh, seven value yeah. logic jaina logic uh, sorry i was not well so couldn't uh, open really so but uh, i thoroughly enjoyed uh, the your both your sessions uh, amar jam sir and ramas sir very one uh, one brings out the uh, amount of toughness in us and the other the logical approach excellent really i like Yes, I could very much uh, relate uh, your uh, uh, logical way of thinking, and you know, for uh, we we in our industry we use it say if there is a single root cause, you know, this binary logic will either we can use by by analysis by by it will work. But if it is a multiple cause, then uh, we have to go for uh, quality circles, 
and if there are many factors and the levels then we have to use a DOE so this is a multiple logic uh, it can be uh, deterministic in the, in a, whatever you said so it uh, really makes sense uh, i could uh, really really thank you for the wonderful session yeah in fact in real life everything is multiple cause there is nothing which is just single cause yes right, right. the probabilistic uh, values are very good really right thank you thank you thank you shakti are you there shakti sakshi thank you bama sir and ramanujan sir so awesome session i come one question to ramanujan sir i told that uh, we have to be like a coffee bee uh, I born and brought up in a different environment. Uh, it's like a from village, then coming to the different uh, country. Here, the culture is everything is different, but still, I try to follow our rituals, those things. But if in case if my for my kids and all, if I want to put it in a very younger age, how to develop that habit? Sir, uh, it's like a reading a spiritual book or how I can do that. Sir? uh yes uh, there are uh, certain qualities of an individual we should never get compromised wherever we go whichever we culture we land in our originality should be preserved but at the same time we have to adapt the other cultures because when you are in rome you should be like a roman when you are in india you should be like an indian when you go to a village you just enjoy the moment that's all you see you should not have prejudice in your life and you know you should not set a hard rules or a soft rules you have to be in between you have to merge with the environment that is what it talks about coffee bean concept this is how one should live and you know we all landed up in ultimate master mind only to learn that we have studied in a very highly professional engineering colleges medical colleges and you know agricultural colleges and very high institutes but you see what you learn you will be using 5% of it but in umm this kind of platform what you learn each and everything will be 100% utilized provided you are prepared to take that 100% commitment and discipline and you just go and conquer the world don't worry about others just worry about yourself whether i am my right who i am that originality should be never lost we should not get influenced by others we should try to influence in such a way that they should also be happy and we should also enjoy the environment this is what i always believe in because we will be continuously learning 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 trying to apply it on a day to day basis so that that gives you confidence that gives you happiness all your eight segments of wheel of life is aiming at to keep you happy okay this is where we are trying to examine this and Yes, Sakti. I think you know you are going to office at the early hours, and uh, yeah, wish you Thank all you, the best. Sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, wish you all if the I, best. If I may add to that, uh, so see at the spiritual level, it doesn't matter whichever the culture, whichever the scripture, whichever the religion. Ultimately, it is the same. For example, this coffee bean example is your ego, right? If you keep your ego. like carrot or egg it will keep always uh make you into trouble right whereas in the coffee bean the ego is not that it just merges not. with what is yeah right so that is one part the ego uh, in check in every culture every religion they say this there is no difference second if you have the right good qualities good character that spreads to everybody right like coffee bean it changes the environment right 
so similarly if you have that kind of good universal character universal values that changes the environment instead of always allowing the environment to change you you can influence the environment as long as you have the universal character and universal uh, uh, values so so let's keep that in mind yeah to add to whatever uh, to add to excellent uh, the viewer part on ramanujan san we we study so many things in uh, college and we do solve problems but just uh, forget that and we don't really apply it to the practical world so that's the problem that's the difference between japanese and this with me so many interaction i could understand that you were really spot on so it is uh, what we do in uh, uh, this thing probability we are dealing with uncertainty same thing so we are trying to reach uh, a level of uh, <coughs> uh, uncertainty to rule out the uh, i mean uh, mishap so same thing we are doing here you know the the everywhere uh, i am try, trying to tell you that with the what we are trying to achieve in um or uh, am club is we are trying to have a clean plan to do this so that uh, even in the case of some uh, uh, uncertainties we can we have the we are proactive we can uh, 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 we can uh, manage so that is the kind of beyond that there are certain things which are not in our control and we can always uh, that, that that happens to everybody but when something can be predicted and uh, if we are proactive that's the way so the our meditation provides the uh, mindset to overcome to calmly observe and to overcome so uh, you were uh, really spot on and uh, ramasan also uh, you brought out the uh, things uh, extremely nicely okay so it is Uh, when i when when you speak you both speak i start relating into the way we professionals do but uh, uh, really we don't uh, do it to our own life that's what uh, umm and the fim mm-hmm. are uh, trying to do it because we do it so much for our uh, uh, profession so we want to solve problems we want to achieve zero defects we want to excel in delivery in service but when it comes to our own so we take it for granted so that's why uh, that's that's a way uh, we really our umm and fim they they make us to rediscover uh, to explore uh, uh, our inner self and uh, unleash the potential and apply the same thing mm-hmm. to our life thank you yes ravi thank you thank you ravi ji thank you so much and anaina uh, could you add <clears throat> feedback question answer any questions yeah uh rasia robin ji vilas ji any questions I don't have any questions but I thoroughly enjoyed the sessions uh, I think uh, both I mean the analogy the coffee bean analogy was just great and uh, the logical expressions were also I think uh, sometimes we we do uh, miss a uh, kind of thinking from that perspective it is always like on the go um, but it is it also made me think about the power of now I think what you have in your hand and what you should uh, do with it with, with the limited with with the limitations and constraints you have Uh, alongside and then make the best out of it so uh, i enjoyed both the sessions thank you tamasas thank you prashanthini thank you so much uh, any questions no questions i'll just uh, add on to what tamasar and tamasas uh, said uh, it was sure. a wonderful session a very different session from two great mentors and yeah and especially the coffee bean and the binary like binary realistic logic like we should not be zero and one and we should have the all the in betweens in place uh not to be uh, black and white and always so yeah and about the 
coffee bean i'll tell you every day morning i start with a cup of tea tomorrow <laughs> now i'm going to see that presentation every time i make a cup of tea <laughs> so yeah that's it it was a great session that's it yes sir see whatever i want to just add is sir uh, ramasen said about the coffee bean influencing others that's called synergy so well, that is called synergy so when you are enthusiastic when you try to help others when you want to spread knowledge when you are interested in the uh, improvement of others the joy of others it's called synergy ultimately everything is for harmony harmony peace and uh, the tranquil life for everybody there as he said there is no difference there is no uh, barriers like culture uh religion like that it is ultimately harmony these are the ways i really enjoy that thank you ramasan and ramon thank you energy thank you energy all right so yeah thank you thank you so much uh, ramanujam and rama the rama square <laughs> as we always say so it was yeah. interesting concept uh, though i have heard it before but uh, i did not know how to apply it there are so many things which we know but we don't know how to apply it to so i don't know whoever wants to answer this question but this is what popped up in my mind is there's a thin line between uh, uh you know standing standing aside and adapting so i always have this uh, decision making issues like should we, should we have should we stand like i hope you got my yeah yeah so see you have to stand aside to start on any decision because if you start uh, you know mixing uh, you if you are a part of the problem it's difficult for you to really look at clearly and take the appropriate decision so standing apart is very very key aspect of anything so when you say standing apart it is not ignoring and going away it's standing apart to see see what's happening and look at all the possibilities and then decide what is more appropriate for that situation and then adapt so it is not mutually exclusive standing apart and adapting is not mutually exclusive it is in sequence so standing apart look at the situation take appropriate decision and then adapt to the right one so that that's what i would say now and i don't know whether it clarifies your question or not yeah but that that is that is where we are but when we are standing apart that's when we have a lot of trouble and then we kind of adapt in that situation no when you are really truly standing apart you will not have trouble actually you will have clarity see the, if you are passively standing apart you will have trouble you are just actively stand apart do you see the difference actively standing apart is really you know what's happening right you are not ignoring and go, no going away if you are passively standing apart everything will come and crash you so you have to actively stand apart i think the word is observe observation so you yeah. observe what is going on you collect actually data uh, by by uh, uh, by just by observation you don't uh, uh, what do you say you don't uh, involve in the process actually but you are observing the process collecting data so this is what uh, they say in japanese yeah you observe at the same you time you don't really run away or just really run away yeah so you you collect the data as it is okay so we don't involve ourselves in we are not trying to correct that process but we are really taking input yes sir i mean the first stage naina yeah naina what what do you mean by you know standing apart when you have problems you want to be apart and find a solution or yeah you are just going away from the problem because this question needs to be answered these two questions say for example i will always look at when you when you are standing under the tree you cannot love the beauty of the tree if you go apart you see the beauty of the tree you can enjoy it similarly when you have problems don't think that the problem has come to you 
the problem existing but you just you know for a while you go out think about what i can do better it is not your problem first of all you should not take it your problem there is a problem you just you know think of it as an outsider so that you will get a lot of ideas you can same thing you can also discuss with your closed ones you will find an answer so that nothing is going to be a difficulty for you you can find a solution very easily we will have a you know, problem solving session one day identifying the problem is 50% of the solution is derived correct defining the problem is the biggest challenge biggest once challenge. you define the problem it is very easy to find a solution the key is with you you can just open it that is what uh, i see uh, when you are standing up in my perception also, also the mind uh, what happens is mind arrests you no it forces you okay you take a uh, stand you take a stand you don't need to so keep it open that is the that is the uh, significance of this seven valued logic what we talked about right so you don't your mind will always try to because it, it doesn't want uncertainty it wants you to either ignore it or it wants you to take a, a stand or position but if you can train your mind to first of all when it hurries just say stop the world will not end just because of this particular situation the world is not going to end just stop hold on let let's relax and see what's happening right so i i can understand what you are saying you know when you are saying you no know, whether to stand up or uh, adapt so the mind will keep forcing you to take your decision immediately so stop that and say that mind it's okay i understand so there is lot of time let's relax let's look at it independently and then take a call so that that is where i think uh, that, that is the first step if you can do that first step of relaxing your mind then things will fall in place yeah i think that, that is my main issue that is the main issue yeah because okay. we want to get it sorted and then Part, move on yeah yeah it is not the done that way and another point i know always it is uh, what is the problem why uh, it is happening rather than who remove the individual uh, the blaming culture yeah. so that always uh, creates a problem we want to fix it up on somebody so that way it should not Thank be you. a human uh, are always good they don't want to create trouble okay so they don't want to hear they don't want to, nobody comes to work or uh, they seem to create trouble actually what is the situation what made them to uh, enter into that difficult kind of what is the situation what are the other elements what went wrong why right. what and why are very all right yeah. thank, thank you. you sir yeah. thank you thank you sakshi i like the way you said that the problem is lena not... ma'am is also there uh, she raised her yeah. hand yeah lena yeah lena ji yeah. go ahead actually in this case uh, rama sir i we should listen to our heart when we are in dilemma no you can listen to both heart heart and heart mind heart guides rightly you huh you can listen to both heart and mind yeah but heart will never wrong <laughs> <laughs> because uh, something in our brain says something else yeah that's yeah but there I... is a there is a confusion in heart <clears throat> what happens is <clears throat> between the strong emotions and your real heart there is a difference you know sometimes uh-huh. because of the biases and prejudices <laughs> your emotions will you know tell okay. you something to take a call immediately which may not be your real heart so that that is a confusion you should remove otherwise i agree with you that if it is true heart i agree with you but many a times the biases will show us emotion uh which is not real heart that is why you need to mix mm-hmm. with the mind analysis as well yes. so it has to be both thanks yeah excellent excellent session i love the, the uh, you can you can say it's a debate of your uh, mind and heart See everybody sharing so it's nice it was wonderful that uh,
that is why we, we that's what uh, roy sir always says so play for more debate games so you know the pluses and minuses the pros and cons of every situation but usually when you are in trouble you don't see beyond a certain level you are like oh no this is me my my issue my problem yeah, yeah we forget yeah, that little thing, I, thing yeah. of stepping one step back and looking at the situation another easy right, one yeah sorry naina uh, another possibility is so whenever that mind is hurrying you and uh, forcing you to take a call right so one way to train the mind is to look at exactly the opposite see when when you are look, looking at a situation oh this is what is that you are looking at always from your point of view your limited point of view yeah. if you can train your mind you can also look at from others point of view find somebody hurt me right now okay so i understand i i, I am hurt obviously i am hurt right but if i can train my mind i can also look at why that person hurt me right like uh, i think ravi sir was saying that nobody wants to really hurt you so that situation is such that it landed up on you like that so if we can train the mind to look at from others point of view that will also help you to slow down your mind and to take appropriate decisions sometimes sometimes you follow the previous prime minister narasimha rao style when you have problem Correct. just keep quiet just keep yeah, quiet yeah. the entire country he was only the prime minister and well said, all sir. the prime minister he is the best prime minister he because he kept india in a very very not in agitative way is a very cool india that is the time all liberalization came all fdi investment came the country started growing when manmohan singh was a prime minister i mean a finance minister and man um, uh, narsimha rao was a prime minister just you know observe just keep cool like narsimha rao you just have narsimha rao photo in front of you that is sufficient <laughs> uh, one another point is that he is uh, very good at delegation not only he kept quiet yes. whatever the expertise uh, when people are there he just delegated that you yeah. may be knowing about uh, he is he was delegating to manmohan singh one other point is our own chairman tv chairman suresh krishna he called uh, narasimha rao ji called my chairman and asked him to go country by country and get fda so the, this is how it started actually my chair my chairman was leading a panel so we went to china actually we uh, to as a measure of goodwill we have put up a factory over there first ever from india it is still running so the, he knew that who is the person suresh krishna yes he is a legend but how to use him that is delegation uh, very well said ramon johar yes because of two things i would say i just i want to conclude one is narasimha rao and another is 1983 world cup cricket so these yeah. two things made indians uh, proud okay so we realized our potential thanks to kapil dev and uh, narasimha rao ji exactly thank you thank leaders, you thank leaders. you leaders yeah and, all right and, uh, because uh, sudhi is hosting today let's end yeah. the session with laughter let's yeah. just sure. like <laughs>